Welcome to our video series called Anatomy of a Horror Scene, where we here at Movie Pilot slice through a classic moment in horror and dissect why it's so scary. Today, the movie on the slab is none other than the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There have been numerous sequels, prequels, and even remakes, but none match the brutal carnage of Toby Hooper's original movie from 1974. Shot for less than $300,000 with a cast of unknowns, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre shaped the horror genre as we know it today. Join us as we cut through this crucial scene from the horror classic and explore why the first appearance of Leatherface still haunts our nightmares over 40 years later. Hello? Up to this point in the film, no one has been hurt. However, the sense of dread that we first felt after meeting the crazy hitchhiker continues to build as Kirk knocks on the door. Just listen to that sound of industrial machinery ominously droning on in the background. Hello? For the first time, we see that those who live inside have lined the walls of animal skeletons. The art direction here is somehow both beautiful and hideous all at once. Reports on the set claim that the animal meat used for decoration rotted quickly in the heat, creating an unbearable stench that added to the production's frenzied atmosphere. Hello? After lingering for some time on the door, a succession of quick cuts pull us closer and closer as pig noises begin to emanate from within. Critics argue that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a pro-vegetarian film, forcing humans to experience life in a slaughterhouse like the animals we kill for food. Director Toby Hooper even gave up eating meat during production on the film, possibly for this very reason. Kirk steps into the house, technically invading Leatherface's home. The seemingly deserted building sure is creepy, but it's still daytime though, so how bad could this be? Out of nowhere, Leatherface suddenly appears, and horror cinema would never be the same again. Wearing a mask made out of someone else's skin, the murderous cannibal was based on real-life Wisconsin killer Ed Gein, and went on to appear in six subsequent continuations and remakes. The hammer blow to Kirk's head takes audiences completely by surprise, disgusting and shocking us in equal measure. If you look closely though, there's no gore. Instead, it's the grisly sound effects and clever editing that makes this scene so disturbing. Hooper deliberately kept the on-screen gore to a minimum in the hopes that the film would secure a PG rating. The film ended up being rated R because of the nightmarish content, but horror filmmakers today should take a cue from Hooper's book here. See how Kirk's twitching body is far more horrifying than the copious buckets of blood that most directors would have put on display here. Seconds after Kirk enters the house, he's immediately knocked out with a sledgehammer and dragged behind a steel door. The speed at which this happens is unnerving to say the least. Notice how the camera lingers again here, leading us to wonder exactly what Leatherface is doing to Kirk. What we imagine is always far scarier than what we can see, something which director Toby Hooper knew all too well. From this moment on, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre never lets up, exploding with acts of nerve-wracking violence again and again. Over 40 years later, the legacy of Toby Hooper will continue to live on in the prequel movie Leatherface, which explores the disturbing origins of this cannibalistic serial killer. Remember to check back with us soon as we sift through the remains of another iconic horror movie and dig up its scariest scene. Suggestions are always welcome in the comments section.